Hey guys, this is Loud Wixpert, and today I'll be showing how to download Audacity um, for your desktop, for your PC. Uh, now, you can download Audacity for all uh, software versions. It is uh, for Mac, it is for Linux, it is also for PC. So, it's not a big worry in that case. And to get Audacity, you just need to go to the official site. Since it's completely free, the full version is free, so you just need to go to the official website. The first link after writing in Audacity in Google will be the official website for Audacity. It is audacityteam.org. Now this is the home page of Audacity website. Now you can directly download it from this link or either go to download, uh, select your operating system if it is Windows, Mac or Linux, then do select what you want. Um, well, basically the downloading is all the same for all. Um, so at this stage I'll be doing from Windows, so just click on Windows. So there we get recommended downloads. The latest version of the Audacity will be available to you whenever you download Audacity. Um, the first link says Audacity 2.1.2 installer and the second one says zip file. So the basic difference between both is that the help files will be included in installer whereas in zip file will not be any help file it is just a small download file which can occur fast so i would recommend to choose the first link click on the first link and with that the download will start the .exe file is going to download it's about 25.3 megabytes so as soon as it is done, I shall resume back. The downloading is about to finish and uh, when it's done. So as soon as the Audacity has been downloaded, you just click on this or if you don't have um, something over here, you can go to the options here and click on downloads. So well, yes. So now, just click on run, you can set the language that you require during the installation. For me English is fine, so after you've done with the setting of language, click on OK. And then, here you are at the setup wizard. So click next, click next, and then if you want to change the folder for download installation, you can. But it's better if you keep the default one, click next. Um, you have an option to create a desktop icon for Audacity. Well, I require the desktop icon, so click next. And when everything is done, just click on install for Audacity to install onto your PC. So the installation is done, and I have the Audacity icon on my desktop. So click on next and so here you have an option to launch Audacity as soon as it, it is done uh, with the installation process. If you just want to launch Audacity, you can uh, let it be ticked or else uh, untick it and just click on finish. And with that, Audacity has been installed on my PC. So basically this is how it looks. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Do like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thank you guys.